Welcome to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Grunt Man. Please like, share, comment, and hit that notification bell. Thank you. Send fan mail to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Grunt Man. P.O. Box 2204, Woodward, Oklahoma, 73802. Hey everybody, welcome to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Grunt Man. Just sitting out here on the front porch this morning after a beautiful night of rain. Uh, the temperature is just wonderful after the heat wave we've had. It's probably in the low 60s this morning. Uh, we have a chance of rain most of the day and yeah, I'm just loving the cooler weather. Uh, got a pretty big day planned. I got a lot of stuff I need to get done and I just got to get off my lazy butt and start doing it. Uh, I've been kind of putting a lot of stuff off and uh, haven't felt like doing a whole lot with the hot weather, but yeah, I, I got to get off my butt and get moving. Uh, so I just wanted to welcome you guys to the channel. Uh, thinking about new, new things to do. Uh, yeah. I, I, I want to get my channel back up and going the way it should be and I, I don't know what I got to do yet to do it so I'm going to be trying some different stuff. I am going to take a, a day trip here in a couple of weeks I think uh, and get back into the adventures of Oklahoma. Uh, that's what my channel originally started out at. Kind of got away from it a little bit but I, I want to get back into that and I've been saving up a little money so I can and go on and do these little day trips uh, take Dakota with me and cook my own food on the camp stove and the little grill that I got and yeah just get back into being adventurous and and not doing the same old same old thing all the time so hope you guys will encourage me with that uh, uh, I, I definitely need to do something different because even I'm getting bored with my videos. So I appreciate all your support and help. Uh, unfortunately, some of the times the farmer's market uh, hinders me a little bit because it takes all week to get ready for the farmer's market. But if I have to skip a week or two here and there, that's what I'm going to do because I'm just tired of being stuck in this in this little rut that I'm in and time to make some changes I guess uh, my friend Denise up in Canada she's been kind of helping me with some of her advice and I definitely appreciate you Denise you know that uh, so yeah we're we're gonna try and do some different stuff here uh, of course I still got to stick around I can't go on real long trips because I got to maintain my garden and it's it's really starting to produce a lot of stuff now I picked a, a whole bunch of okra yesterday and I picked some my first cucumber this morning uh, there's peppers coming on uh, jalapenos and uh, looked like there's some cayenne paper peppers that are getting some blossoms so the peppers uh, been struggling a little bit. Uh, still haven't got any tomatoes. I got to see there's blossoms, but no tomatoes, and that's kind of discouraging. But uh, my flowers are starting to get looking good. The glads are starting to get some stems on them. So yeah, I I want to stick around and make sure my garden stays watered and everything. So. It'll be just be little overnight trips or day trips. So if you guys want to see some of that, leave a comment because your guys' uh, support is everything to me. And without you guys, I don't have a YouTube channel. So anyway, God bless you guys. I love you. Do me a favor and hit that like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell all your friends because I definitely need your help. I think I... Uh, might have made the my 4,000 hours yesterday. I uh, YouTube had me fill out the 
the the form and everything last night so that's a good thing but they said it could take up a up to a month to get approved or not approved so keep me in your prayers for that because that all helps my channel i i realize i'm not going to make a lot of money but if i make any money at all i'm just going to put it right back into my youtube so anyway god bless you guys and I got to get doing something today, but I'm just out here enjoying this beautiful weather today. I think I'm going to shut the air off and open up some windows and let the fresh air in the house and do a little bit of bacon. And I want to do a motorcycle story video today. So anyway, God bless you guys. I love you. And we'll talk to you later. Hey, everybody. I made some... Uh, Hawaiian banana bread with pineapple and coconut this morning. I got two big loaves and three little mini loaves. I uh, didn't get the video of the mixing of it, but yeah, this is what I got done so far this morning. Hey everybody, got all three of the smoke alarms packaged up that I gave away on my live video uh, last Monday. And well, this last Monday, yeah. So I'm going to go up to the post office and get these sent off to the winners. I want to thank everybody again for watching the video and playing along. Uh, we'll probably have another giveaway of some kind on the next live video. So hope you guys tune in for that. So I'm going to go up and check the P.O. box and get these mailed off. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, I'm up here at the post office. I'm gonna mail the, the three metal or uh, smoke detectors that I gave away on the live. So, Selena, Deborah, and Teresa, you should have them within a few days, I would think. Uh, hope you enjoy them. I'm gonna get them shipped off here right now, go in the post office and Get them mailed and then go check my P.O. box. Love you guys. God bless you. We'll talk to you in a little bit. These are pictures of a 1984 Kawasaki Voyager 1300. This isn't my exact motorcycle, but mine looked exactly like this. It was identical to it. Uh, really love this bike. Hope you guys enjoy the video. This is just some pictures of the trip. Okay, these are just uh, images that I downloaded of Duluth, Minnesota and Thunder Bay, Ontario. Uh, this is kind of what I remember about it in Thunder Bay. Pretty neat looking. And then these next pictures here, this is of the north shore of Lake Superior. And then uh, this is the bridge in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan coming back into the United States. Okay, these images here are just of uh, Google Maps of kind of the route that we took on our trip around the North Shore and back across the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Wisconsin and back to Iowa. This is just me back in my motorcycle days. Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing another uh, one of my memory stories. Uh, the first one I did on, of my motorcycle was my very first motorcycle. And this is a story with the last motorcycle that I owned. Uh, this isn't the last trip that I took with it, but it, this is the, the last motorcycle that I owned. It was a 1984 Kawasaki 1300 Voyager full dress model. Uh, there'll be a picture in the video here. Uh, it was my favorite bike that I've ever owned overall. I had uh, all the microphones and speakers and everything in the helmets. Uh, I could, had two way communication between passenger and rider. Uh, 
AM, FM. Back then it was still cassette. Uh, now everything you can get Bluetooth. And uh, I wasn't that. Technology hadn't been that far yet. But it was a, a beautiful motorcycle. It rode just gorgeous. It, it was all air ride suspension. Uh, it was a six cylinder. Had plenty of power. Uh, it definitely wasn't the fastest bike, but it, it had more power than you really needed to, needed to. I never had any trouble going up and down mountains and hills and yeah, it, it was just an all around beautiful motorcycle. But the trip that we're talking about today, we did in, I'm going to say 85 or 86, I don't remember the exact year, but it was uh, Con or Gary Walmuth and his son, myself, and another friend of mine, Tim Daigle. Uh, we went up around the north shore of, of Lake Superior up through Canada and come back down through Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan and across the upper peninsula of Michigan and back through Wisconsin and home. It wasn't a long trip. We, it was a fairly fast, fast trip. Uh, I think we did it in either three or four days. I don't quite remember exactly, but I have a, some maps that I did out on Google Maps and I'll I'll put that in the video here also. It kind of shows you the, the route that we took. I don't remember it exactly and I don't remember exactly where we stopped for each individual stop because we stopped and looked at a lot of different places. But the very first day we took off from uh, Sibley, Iowa and went up through Duluth, Minnesota and I think we stopped in Duluth and looked around there for a little bit. Uh, I don't remember if it was that trip because we made several trips up in, in that area on motorcycles. But I remember one time we stopped at Duluth and we walked out on the, uh, a river or something somewhere and it was just absolutely gorgeous. And we stopped and looked at a big train there once, but I don't remember if that was this exact trip. But anyway, from Duluth we went on up and we stayed the, stayed overnight at a little bed and breakfast in Thunder Bay, Ontario. And it was just gorgeous up there. I loved it. Uh, it was a postcard picture perfect. Uh, when you looked out over the Bay of Lake, on Lake Superior there in Thunder Bay, there was sailboats parked in the harbor there and the sunset was just gorgeous. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about Thunder Bay, well, pretty much all of Canada, they got little little bitty black flies up there. At least that's what they called them. Uh, they just wanted to eat me alive. I took my hat off, and they they literally bit the top of my head so hard it was bleeding. So I uh, never went without a hat again. Uh, but other than that, it was just gorgeous up there. Uh, I'll see if I can find some pictures to add in, but they, of course they wouldn't be the exact pictures that that uh, I had. Unfortunately, I don't know where all my pictures ever went to because back then I took pictures of everything. Uh, we uh, went up into Canada. Of course, we had to cross the, the border and going into, the, into Canada, the border patrol up there was just easy going in. How, how, we had, how long are you going to be here? Do you have anything to declare? This, the basic simple stuff. So yeah, we went up into Canada. Back then we didn't even need the passports like you do nowadays. But Yeah, we stayed the first night at Thunder Bay, Ontario at a little bed and breakfast. Uh, we went down and ate. It was family style meal. They, you, of course, we, it was kind of like a restaurant, but it was just all you sit wherever and at a dining room table, and it was just kind of neat. And then we all had our own separate little little bedrooms uh, and a shared bathroom. Of course, we had to take turns with showers and stuff like that. But it was it was pretty neat. Uh, 
I had never stayed at a bed and breakfast before, and yeah, it was just an old house that was converted over. It was, it was pretty neat. But from there, we got up the next morning, and of course we had breakfast, and then we we just continued to take our time around the north shore of Lake Superior and just looking at all the the scenery and. We stopped at a few souvenir shops, and <laughs> up there you buy gas by the liter, and back then, I don't remember, I think it was 30 or 40 cents a liter, maybe 50 cents, I don't remember exactly, but when I first, the first time I stopped uh, to get gas, I go, wow, this is, this is cheap, but yeah, it's only a liter, you're not getting a whole gallon. So that, that took a little bit of getting used to, and then everything is kilometers per hour and not miles per hour. But my bike said both. It had both readings on it, so that was not a real big deal. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we just took our time and stopped at a few little parks and that wayside areas on the, that we could look out over the, over the lake and all kinds of stuff like that. And then we went clear around and we came back into the United States at Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And I don't know if you guys ever been up to Sault Ste. Marie, but there's a huge bridge that you have to cross over to come back into the United States. But it, it was gorgeous up there too. Uh, fortunately, back then, Michigan was a pretty good place. Uh, it, it still is a very beautiful state, but I just don't agree with the governor there. But that's a whole other story. But yeah, we, we just loved it up in Canada there. Uh, had moose crossings on the road. <laughs> I'd never seen that before. <laughs> Down here you see deer crossing and elk crossing, but I'd never seen a moose crossing. But we never did see a moose. Uh, which is probably a good thing. I don't think I want to tangle with a moose on a motorcycle. So, But yeah, it, it was just gorgeous. Uh, if I ever had the opportunity again, I would like to go back up and do it again. Uh, yeah, it was just, just a, a great time up in Canada. But then we came back into, like I said, Sault Ste. Marie. Coming back into the United States, we stopped at the checkpoint at the border, and I thought we were not going to get back in the United States because that border patrol guy, he was just reading us the riot act, and I had a trailer behind my motorcycle, and of course we had to open that up, and we didn't have anything illegal, because you can only bring so much stuff back in out of Canada as far as cigarettes and alcohol, well I don't buy, I've never smoked in my life. So cigarettes were not a problem, uh, and we didn't drink when we were traveling on motorcycles, so we didn't have any alcohol with us. Uh, but yeah, when we came back in the United States, he asked us, where are you from, how long you been here? And I said, well, we're from Sibley, Iowa, and he goes, is that in the United States? And I said, <laughs> I wanted to be a real smart aleck and say, well, it was when I left there, but I don't know, maybe it moved. But I said, no, I better not do that because he was already being kind of a uh, jerk or whatever you want to call it, I guess. But I mean, he was just doing his job. But I mean, really, we were a bunch of Iowa hicks coming, coming from Iowa around the North Shore of Lake Superior, and you're going to treat us like we're aliens. But... Uh, but yeah, we got finally got back into the United States, and and we just enjoyed the Sault Ste. Marie. We didn't really stop there because, I mean, Sault Ste. Marie is a big city, and I none of us were big city people by any means. Uh, I mean, it was pretty. The going over that bridge was gorgeous between the United States and Canada. Uh, but we come back down and then we went across the upper peninsula of Michigan and I don't know if you've ever been up that way but there's basically one road that goes from east to west and west to east across the upper peninsula but it is just solid wooded tree land and gorgeous gorgeous area 
I did see a couple porcupines and I was glad they uh, stayed where they did because I really didn't want to hit a porcupine either on the motorcycle. But that, that was my first time ever seeing a porcupine. Uh, and then we, we got down into Wisconsin. It, it's not far across the UP of Michigan. And we got up into the, the northern part of Wisconsin and there's a lot of uh, paper mills and tree pulp and stuff like that. And it's just got a different smell to it. Uh, to me, it's just stunk really bad. But, you know, I'm sure once you're up there in it, you get used to it. It's kind of like the hog smell in northern Iowa. You, you just get used to it. But, uh, I mean, it was very pretty up there. And we've seen a lot of logging and, and trucks hauling lumber to the to the paper mills. But, and I, I don't remember exactly where we stayed overnight, but... We tent camped the second night. We didn't stay in a motel, if I remember right. Uh, but we got up the next morning and hit, started heading back toward Iowa. And uh, I think it was somewhere around uh, uh, I don't remember the name of the town, but we uh, started running in the rain, and it, it rained. It rained hard. Now, I, I'll never forget, Tim wanted to, oh, it, was, it wasn't even noon yet. Tim goes, I think we need to stop and get a motel. And Gary and I looked at each other and said, no. We, I think we would stop for lunch. And Tim wanted to tie it up and stop because it was raining. And we said, no, we don't let the rain slow us down. So we... uh we just kept on riding and Tim was not having a good time in the rain. <coughs> but if you're going to travel a motorcycle, you got to you got to expect rain because I I mean I've ridden in a lot of rain. I mean you, you got to be careful. But if it's raining, you just slow down a little bit and keep on motoring. But we got far as far back as the state line between Wisconsin and uh, Minnesota and uh, the sun started coming out and the heat come up and it was hot and humid but uh, overall it was a very good trip I mean you, you if you're on a motorcycle you got to expect all weather we had we had good weather all the way around the North Shore of Lake Superior all the way through the upper peninsula of Michigan. I mean, we it was ideal, 70 degree weather, no wind, sunshine. I mean, that that's perfect motorcycle weather. And then we got into rain. You, yeah, it kind of sucks to ride in the rain, but we had already been on the, the what we wanted to do part of our trip. So basically the rest of it was just getting back home. Uh, but overall, it was a fun trip. Well, every trip I took on the motorcycle was fun. But I, I really did love the around the north shore of, of the lake up there. Uh, it, it had some, been something I'd never seen. Well, I'd never ever seen any of the Great Lakes until later in life when I used to go out to the NASCAR races. We used to see part of southern Lake Michigan. But, but yeah, seeing the north shore up there was just absolutely gorgeous and I recommend if anybody has a chance to go up there even if it's not on a motorcycle trip go take that drive around the North Shore because it's absolutely gorgeous at least it was back in the 80s and I, I don't see where it would have changed much uh, other than being more expensive right now and they got a new uh, leader in Canada but uh, yeah, it was well well worth the time. I I actually kind of wish we would have taken more time, but we we just made this a little short, like it was three or four days. It, it wasn't the longest trip that we ever taken that, by any means, but but it was definitely fun. I enjoyed it, and like I say, I'll I'll post some pictures of the I, I Google mapped 
our basic route that we took around the lake and uh, got some pictures of the motorcycle and unfortunately I don't have any pictures of us actually on the trip uh, because I don't know whatever happened to my pictures. I had I had pictures of every trip that I had taken on a motorcycle but, but that's neither here nor there uh, but yeah that's that's my story on the the motorcycle and a little bit more about the motorcycle. Like I said, it was a, K, or a Kawasaki 1300 Voyager. Uh, it was burgundy with gold trim and black and I just love the colors. It was fully dressed. Uh, the radio I could take out for security. I just had to unlock it. I could lock it up in the trunk. It had a trunk and saddlebags and the, the, the back trunk was adjustable back and forth, uh, had highway pegs on it. I, it, was, it was the ultimate cruiser bike. Uh, Gary had his Goldwing at that time. Uh, he had a Honda Goldwing. And I don't, Tim had a, a Yamaha, I think, or a Honda, I don't remember. But his wasn't a full-dressed motorcycle, it was just a, a street bike. But, uh, yeah, we... We had a lot of fun with it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next one I do will probably be another firefighter video, or I might even do a ready mix video, my ready mix adventures, uh, because I, I have stories to who laid the rail, so even even a couple train ones, uh, <laughs> because I I've always been into trains. Uh, so yeah, that's another whole story. But, uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, and I enjoy sharing my life's adventures. Uh, I, I wished I had a few more pictures to, to share with you guys with it. But like I said, unfortunately, I don't know what happened to them. And this was back, like I say, in 85, so I don't remember all the details. I just remember the highlights. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely a good time. So God bless you guys. I love you. Like, share, comment. Hit that notification bell. Tell all your friends about me. Uh, I definitely appreciate all your help. So until next time, God bless you, and we'll talk to you later. I think glads are starting to open up. Uh, they'll probably be open tomorrow, I would imagine. Don't see any other ones coming yet, but shouldn't take too much longer. Hey everybody, hope you guys had a wonderful Thursday. Uh, my day didn't start off real well, but it ended up being a pretty productive day, I guess. Uh, had a farmer's market meeting tonight. So that's why I'm kind of late, but yeah, it, it was a pretty good day altogether. Uh, didn't get really, really hot today. Uh, it's supposed to be back up in the 90s tomorrow, but we got a really good chance of some thunderstorms tonight during the night. So uh, I got to go out tomorrow sometime if the rain stops and harvest some more stuff out of the garden and get it ready for the farmer's market. Uh, got a little bit more baking to do and I got to put labels on everything of course and get that done uh, but anyway I want to get this video uploaded I appreciate you guys you guys know that uh, I, I can't say it enough I always say that you guys just amaze me that the support and love that you guys show my channel uh, I definitely appreciate it so anyway, I'm going to get my video uploaded here, and remember, like I always say, treat everybody the way you want to be treated. Make this world a better place. God bless you guys. I love you. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for me. Tell your friends. Uh, I did fill out the application to get monetized, so hopefully in a month I'll hear something on that, but Anyway, 
We'll talk to you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you guys.